In case you hear buffalo running back and forth, it's actually my dogs. It ain't real life buffalo. Two of them, I don't know how they're so small and they sound like that, but they do. Anyways, I got a comment over on Instagram. I said, I don't care what you post, just pick up the camera. We want to see you more. I'm paraphrasing it, but that's basically what it said. So for this person right here, that's exactly what I did. I read that comment, I got up and I picked up the phone. I got pretty today because I was going to do like a nice little like- Pretty every day. I got pretty because I was going to do like this date thing with Shane and we're still going to do that. It's not, not like a date, like going out. Now they're in the bags. It's not going out. It's literally our date days consist of getting food and bringing it in. And that's what I was going to do tonight. You would think since I haven't done it in so long that I would have forgotten. But it's kind of like riding a bike and I did it for so many years that I just don't forget. It's never perfect. Usually it's smudged somewhere. I just, I take my glasses off when I'm doing it. And then I just don't look at myself just in case I see it. Because I'm not about to go fix it. We don't have time for that. Since I'm bringing you guys along today, I might as well show you guys an update on the kitchen situation. Because I haven't updated you guys since the last video. Which was yesterday. I'm trying to do an every other day upload this week and see how that works out don't hold me to it but i'm trying to do that because i don't want to leave you guys hanging and a lot of you guys you relax and unwind i don't know how <laughs> you unwind watching my videos so i'm trying to post more frequently for y'all that do that i can't do something extravagant every other day so i'm kind of just bringing y'all along with me and sharing whatever I have to share that day. So I'm gonna give you guys an update on the kitchen situation. I'm also gonna go ahead and show you guys the kitchenware haul and the haul of what Shane has been collecting for me for a year now. I couldn't see y'all. I can't see y'all with my glasses on either. I kind of just have to pretend you're there in order to talk to you. <laughs> So we're going to do that and then we'll do like some stuff today. We're just going to do some stuff today. How's y'all's week going? How's your mom and them? Let me go ahead and start off with the kitchenware haul. Okay, let's break this all down. So I'm going to show you guys the things that, like the little things that I got at the Walmart, the TJ Maxx, the Amazon. Do I have something from the Ross? Don't tell me I don't got nothing from the Ross. Oh my gosh. I've got to lay down my number one customer title. I did all of this shopping and didn't get one daggone thing from Ross. I'm not gonna be worthy to walk through the doors. So let's do, let's do the Amazon because I only got one thing from Amazon. I got these baker bacon. You know where your bacon? My tablet? My tablet or my tablet charger? Bacon? Balkan? Bakken sounds like a very proper bacon. I got these and the only reason I got those is because I was going to get Pioneer Woman's. They're teal from Walmart, but they didn't go with the whole like aesthetic that I do. So I decided just to shop on Amazon and get the same sort of thing with like the little white speckles on it. Sort of looks like granite or like pavement kind of gives an asphalt vibe, but I wanted those really bad. So I got these. I'm hoping they're non-stick. I'm ashamed to admit that I really went off of the looks versus the functionality of it, you know? So I don't really know, but it came with a six muffin pan. I've, I'm gonna keep the other muffin pans I have because they're the silicone ones and I really like those. You leaving? Yeah. Shane's going to get the food. I love you. Mm -hmm. love you. Why are you looking at me like you just fell in love with me again? I can't see nothing. I have my glasses on. So yeah, however I'm looking at you, you're interpreting I, I it. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I can't see you right now. And he's like, why are you looking at me like you love me? Love you. Love you. Like, bro, I can't see you right now. I guess it's just because I love him. Like, I don't have to look at him a certain way. I just look at him the same way because I love him. But I've got a little loaf pan, which same. I've got to get another one of these. Honestly, I should have probably bought two big old boxes of these bacon panwares. Literal bacon. <laughs> Balkan panwares. Balkan Swiss. The Swiss design cookware and bakeware, that's why it's so cool. It is non-stick, okay. Did it come from Swiss? Cause that's a Bach Diemer. Bach Diemer. Bach Diemer. Oh, these are neat. I'm gonna probably get another box of these. I'll link them below if I can find them. They're like solid. So I got a square pan, two of these, which is a win because I have to have two of these anytime I cook something, you know, chicken nuggets, fries kind of thing. And then I got one big sucker. This is the casserole ones, like hamburger hash from casserole, those cinnamon rolls I make that you have to pour a bunch of heavy whipping cream into, stuff like this. I love big thick ones like this. I don't know if I've ever had a non-stick big old one like this. I have a glass one. I think this is a nine by 13, I'm pretty sure. 
I'll link them down below. I'm definitely gonna get another box now that I know like what that they're good quality and stuff. I don't know if they're nonstick because I didn't I didn't bake anything on them yet. I've been holding off using any of this until I showed it to you guys. So I don't know if they're actually nonstick, but they are solid. They're not like the flimsy aluminum ones you get at the Dollar Tree, which I didn't expect them to be given the price. But I do need another set because the size of my family. Walmart, I just got a couple of things. I didn't get a whole lot there either. Okay, from Walmart, I got these. They're like little lunchbox notes. They're upside down. <laughs> I've been having a lot of issues with my eye traveling. You know, I always tell y'all it goes on vacation without me. My left eye, it goes that way because I'm blind out of it. But, it, but usually I can pull them together and my glasses for some reason have been causing me to not pull it together. And it's weird because I'm blind. Like, I can't see you guys right now. I can just see there's a red dot and I try to follow that red dot and that shows that I'm recording. But for some reason when I'm looking like this, my eye don't travel. It might, it might be because I can't see that I can't see it traveling. I don't know, I guess I'll find out while I'm editing this. But I got these and these are just little notes like that you can put in the kiddos lunch boxes and since i've been doing lunch boxes and it's been working out awesome that's one of the best ideas i ever ever had to do in in my life <laughs> i don't know what that really says about me and my decision making but the lunch boxes were a really good decision so i got these granted you can use post-it notes like the colorful post-it notes you can use paper you don't really have to go out and buy these but these were a dollar i believe a piece and i just thought they might be fun and exciting for the kids because they're different colors and have little messages on them like make today amazing and you are roaresome so i don't know kids find things that are colorful really fun so i try to try to get stuff like that sometimes you just get it because you think the kids will think it looks cool and then I, I can't show you guys because we have been eating on these, but I got these brown sort of stone-like bowls and bowl plates. They look like if a bowl and a plate had a baby. They're a hybrid kind of thing. And then these plates, I have those, and we've already been eating on them, and I haven't been able to wash them because I don't have a sink. So uh, we got those, and you will see them in a future video. I got these Better Homes and Gardens 20-piece set flatware set, and I liked them because they're kind of black and matte black at that and i thought that was really different from like the normal silverware sort of thing and also the stems is that what they're called the stems of them are really like skinny and i thought that looked cool hopefully these don't get legs and walk off like my old ones did i literally lose so many fork spoons and knives i don't know where they go and i never find them i lost hundreds at the single wide and when we moved out i was just for sure we were going to find a bunch of just random silverware in places and i never found it and i searched high and low at every corner and cleaned every crevice of that house and never found it so hopefully these don't have that magic ability i also got this thing right here from walmart i have a big waffle maker that's not dookie in my nails that's makeup i had a big one but i didn't have a little one and i got tired of making the big ones and like it being super huge and having to make a bunch of those so i thought that maybe I could make a bunch of these in bulk and then freeze them and just have like regular Eggo size waffles. I think those are like the Eggo size waffles that it makes. But those would be better than having the big old floppy ones that are kind of hard to store and a mess to make. <laughs> They're so messy. I always overfill that thing. TJ Maxx. So I found a brand that I was really intrigued by at TJ Maxx. It's this CWC brand right here. The beautiful cookware that I got, it has that gold accent color, right? I got all the white icing color. I really like that taupey color she has. The purples and the blues and the greens are really pretty too, but I really liked the white icing. I thought that was just classic. So when Shane asked me, I was like, I like the white icing, and he just went and got everything white icing so it all matches. But since they have like a gold sort of accent on them, I was looking for things with gold accents on them. Not necessarily that's why, even just the gold accent to kind of tie it all in together. Not that your potato pillar has to match your, your crock pot, but I thought that it would be cool if mine did. <laughs> so I got these. I love this like hunter green. It's like a mix between a hunter and sage green. These are peelers and these were $4.99 at the TJ Maxx. Like I said, I found this brand there and I was really intrigued by it. So I found some measuring spoons and cups to match this. I actually found the green ones and I gave them to Nanny because I liked these cream ones. So I got the green and gold ones, gave those to Nanny and kept the cream and gold ones. These have, these are by the same brand, the CWC, and they have the spoons with the gold handle and they have the cups with the gold handle. And I really liked how that cream and gold look together. 
these were also $4.99. Another thing, I found this masher. So I think this is like a two-in-one masher. It's by the CWC, which is Cook With Color. That's neat. It says two-in-one mix and masher. So I think you can use this to like mash your meat together and like kind of for ground beef, like I have with my black one I have in there that's cheap from Walmart. You just like ground it up. I think this can ground up hamburger meat and I think it can mash potatoes. I think. I think that's what it means by two-in-one masher. But this is $4.99 as well. I'm seeing a trend. Pretty much everything is $4.99. I don't get it how that can be $4.99 and you get two things right here for $4.99. Single thing $4.99, two things $4.99. I don't really know. But, I mean, this is kind of bigger, so, and cooler. That design, how cool is that? Got the CWC tongs, the gold and the cream. I thought that would be cute to have. These were actually $3.99. They weren't $4.99. I'd like to find a bigger set of tongs, too, just because we use tongs so much in this house. I had a ton of tongs, and then they randomly got used for random stuff. Shane literally tried catching a lizard with one, I think, or he asked to. I can't remember if he did or he asked to use the tongs, and I refused. Can't remember, but that can just give you an idea as to what tongs get used for around here. And then once they get used for stuff like that, obviously I don't use them in the kitchen, so I'll throw them away. So I usually like to have a lot of tongs, and I like to have different sizes. So I need to look for bigger ones that have the gold handle that maybe match those. I know I already had measuring spoons, but there's, it's invisible right here. I got this thing right here, and I got it because it's pink, but it's like a measuring spoon that you can like... My eye just went, it went on vacation. I felt it, I think. I can bring it up here and that's a teaspoon. That's bigger than a teaspoon. Oh, so right here is half a tablespoon and then that's a teaspoon that goes half a teaspoon. It's really neat, I like I liked that. I thought that was very futuristic, so I got it. How much was this? This was, this was $5.99, I mean. I mean, it is kind of cool. This isn't the same brand, but this is Cook's Corner brand. And I just got two of these whisks and the gold. I used to hate gold. I used to hate, I didn't like gold in the house or anything. But I'm finding I don't like it in the living spaces or the bedrooms. But I do like it in the kitchen for the kitchenware. I don't know, but I found two of these. They're the gold handles with like the silver steel looking whisk itself. And these are $5.99 for both of these. Not the CWC brand, but it's still really pretty. And then this is also Cook's Corner. Same brand as the Whisks. And they're just like taupe silicone ones. I like the silicone ones because I can't, I'm not good enough at homemaking to keep the wooden ones clean. And I'm not experienced enough in cooking to get stainless steel ones because I feel like I scratch everything with them. So silicone is just the safest bet for me. These were 10 bucks for one, two, three, four, five. Of these so they were kind of two dollars a piece and that kind of feels a little expensive but they seem like they're in really good condition i had another sort of like these that i got as a gift and they lasted a really long time they recently just two of them just recently broke and i'd had them for a while so if they're anything like those i think those came from amazon but if they're anything like those then i think that they'll last a while and then this is the cutting boards i have i have these floppy cutting boards that i decluttered because they were super floppy so i got the thicker cutting boards this go around and they're heavier i got a small one and a large one it's supposed to be it says blade friendly non-absorbent and it just says set of two cutting boards so i don't really know who made it but these are 7.99 and I liked the color, and I thought that the color went really nice with that. Not the same color, really, but a similar color. Now is the exciting part. I'm going to try to put my glasses on because maybe my eye will stay centered. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on there. I have no idea. Now is the fun part, though. I get to show you guys the beautiful... Shane has been collecting me this for a year. And he has been storing it in the shower in our master bathroom and in other places too. This haul I'm about to show you is all thanks to my husband and a year's worth of collecting and saving them for me. And <laughs> he's literally the best. And when I say that, I don't mean it in a bragging way. Like I, obviously I brag on my husband because he's amazing. But I say that because I, um, I want it to be apparent that I realize that how blessed. I am that that I have him in my life I just anytime I'm ever like oh my gosh my husband's awesome or oh my gosh my husband's amazing or I love him he's great or he's the best I, I never want it to come off as a bragging tone as much as I want it to come across as a I realize and I don't take for granted the fact that he is the way he is 
I love it so much. I love it so much. We've got the breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the whole family griddle. It's an extra large 12 inch by 22 inch large electric griddle. So excited about that. We've got the kitchenware, which is the 12 piece ceramic nonstick cookware set. And I'm so excited about that. All in the icing white. The crock pot that has the digital uh, time on it and stuff. I've never had a crock pot with a digital time, so I'll probably have to learn how to use that. It has a steel lid holder. What? Oh, to hold the lid up? That is so cool. And a large six quart capacity. Holy moly. And then we got the air fryer here. It's a three quart digital air fryer. So that's digital too. So those are both digital. And then you see the gold handle there? What well, I was talking about the gold accents. The gold accents are, are super pretty on these. We've got the mixer. It's a 5.3 quart stand mixer and I'm so excited. I was looking at it in Walmart and admiring it a while back and it looks like it's such good quality. I also noticed the other day that Walmart had the purple ones I thought those were really cute. We've got the knife set that has the scissors and I haven't had one of those in a hot minute. Then we got the toaster. I asked him and he didn't know that they had the four slice toasters. So he got the two slice toasters. But I already have a four slice toaster that was gifted to me and it's cream and beautiful and I love it. So I'm keeping it and gonna use this and I'll have a six slice toaster with the two of those put together. And then I got a microwave finally because mine was done and it's just a whole science project. <laughs> So I finally got a new microwave. Maybe my Hot Pockets won't be frozen in the middle anymore. We celebrated the girl's birthday yesterday and it was a blast. We went out of town and we went somewhere we'd never been before and it was so much fun. Even Shane and I had fun like because their best friend his mom is my best friend, basically, and Sh their best friend's dad is Shane's best friend now, basically. So it just all works out. It just all works out. So Shane and her dad were playing games at the we were arcade. Playing X Men. They were playing. That's not a game. That's an experience. <laughs> okay, and then I was playing air hockey with her mom. It was a blast. That was probably the funnest birthday ever. Because we say all funnest. Was, the, is it the funnest? The most fun. The most fun. That was the most fun. Are you my teacher or my husband? You tell me. I can't post this video without giving y'all an update on the whole situation from the last video. So they actually actually replaced the sheetrock for me. So that was awesome. We've just got to do a little bit of mudding and caulking and trimming and stuff. But the sheetrock is replaced, so that's less work we have to do. That means that we can get back to working on the kitchen now. We don't have to worry about going in and fixing all that drywall and stuff, which it wouldn't have been a huge hassle, but it would have just taken more time. A good hour or two away from the things we need to do. So now we can just start head first into the cabinets and just yeah, make our way around the kitchen. That's what I'm trying to do is make my way around the kitchen. And if I'm posting videos like this, more frequent videos, you might have things in more parts, but you guys have been having things in parts anyway. In the past year, I haven't done like a whole room makeover in one video just because it's it's overwhelming when you come into a fixer upper and you buy a fixer upper and, and virtually everything has to be changed. So I've been doing it just as I film and that's been really easy on me. And it's not everybody's favorite form of content because a lot of people like to see the beginning and the end in one video, but I still try to do that in the last video where I show you guys the beginning and then you know show you the end i just don't get the whole thing done in one video it, it just works better for me in all avenues of being a content creator i just do it piece by piece and that will definitely still be the same if i post more content like if i'm doing this every other day thing that i'm gonna try <laughs> that i want to try out then it'll definitely be it'll definitely still be in steps and we won't have one huge hour and a half long video of a room makeover but you guys will get to watch in real time the things that are going down and you guys will get content more frequently and stuff so we're going to try it out and see i used to when i first started i used to post five days a week sometimes six days a week i would post monday through friday and then i went monday through thursday and the reason i could do that is because i was doing more day in the lifestyle stuff i still did my mobile home updates and i still did the stuff that you guys see now but I did a lot more of just random chill, talking to the camera, cleaning the house sort of thing. So it was, I did that every day. So it was easy for me to get the videos out there more often. Also my videos were like 12 to 20 minutes long. So it took no time to edit 
those 12 minute long videos. Now my videos are much longer and they're more edited and they're just, they're, they take a lot more effort than they used to back when I first started. So every other day is gonna be a little difficult, but I'm gonna see, you know, you never know. I may end up doing it and it may end up sticking and I may end up getting in the groove of it and continuing to do it throughout the next month. Who knows? Right now I'm just trying to listen to you guys and what you guys want and trying to make it happen. <laughs> I also want to quickly take the time to thank you guys for those of you who were talking about how you like my gibber jabbering and one of the last videos I was talking about how I'm trying not to talk so much in some videos not all videos because I can't physically do that but in some videos I'm trying not to talk so much because I don't want to overwhelm you guys and I'm an overwhelming person in general my personality is very overwhelming my actions are very overwhelming I, I overwhelm myself on the daily so I know believe it or not I know what it feels like to be in my presence I'm in my presence 24 7 so I'm trying to like kind of and just in some videos you know step back a little bit and just do maybe more music more voiceover stuff like that and I was doing that because somebody asked me to and the amount of comments I'm still going to be trying to do that but the amount of comments that were like Marina that's why we're here Marina we like listening to you talk Marina we want to hear you talk I don't really think that y'all know what that means to me because I was always told to shut up <laughs> and I did not talk a lot as a kid. And I firmly believe that the reason I talk so much as an adult is because I stayed silent as a kid. I did not talk to anybody. I actually got voted in the quietest person in the class in one of my classes. And that's because I learned at a very, very young age, out of sight, out of mind. And I couldn't get made fun of if I stayed in my own little corner and I couldn't get made fun of if I stayed quiet. I think it's very ironic <laughs> that I'm on here as loud as I am on here <laughs> and I get made fun of. That's a whole thing that I had to deconstruct in my brain when starting a YouTube channel is I learned as an eight-year-old, as a nine-year-old, 10-year-old, 11-year-old, 12-year-old, 15-year-old, 16-year-old before I met Shane, I learned that you're out of sight, you're out of mind. If you're quiet, if you stay off the radar, nobody's going to actively search you out to, to make fun of you. You've got to put yourself in, in their way is what I always taught myself. So you can imagine the deconstruction that went on up here whenever I got on the internet and God told me be loud. It was a war zone for a while and I had to just be like, this is me. And me is a direct reflection of who I was as a kid. It's just the opposite. And it's the opposite because I learned that, yeah, being loud and being overwhelming and putting yourself out there in front of a bunch of people, it does make you susceptible to being made fun of and, and people mocking you and laughing at you and being mean and saying rude things and hurtful things and hate comments and things like that. It does. But I wish I could go back and tell 12 year old Marina that stuff is going to come. You're going to deal with that. You're going to have to process all that mean stuff. But putting yourself out there also brings along a lot of people that end up loving you and are nice to you and, and they build you up. They don't tear you down. I wish so bad. If I ever, if I ever get rich, I'm, I'm buying a time machine. And if I, and if one ain't made yet, I'm, I'm paying somebody to make one. <laughs> I'm hitting Elon Musk up or something because I want to go back in time until 12 year old specifically, Marina, stop hiding yourself like you're something to be embarrassed of. And I hope to God, oh please, if you have teenagers, relay that message to them. If they're bullied and their people are mean to them and they don't have a lot of friends and they have quirks so they're different and they're just because of that, let them know that they are not something they should hide. That they are not so embarrassing that they need to hide themselves. Quirks are so special and they make you different. And I did a video call with somebody and I think it'll be on YouTube, somewhere out there on YouTube uh, soon. And if it is, I'll, I'll give y'all the link. It's just them asking me a bunch of YouTube questions. And I by no means see myself as a YouTube professional or even like a YouTube guru or anything like that. But I do have a lot of knowledge and experience and information on it. So when somebody asks me questions, I try to always be up front and just, you know, real with them. No secrets here. Like, here's what I know. They were asking me questions about how to get over the fear of being judged on the internet or just the fear of being not accepted and, and worrying what people will say and think about you if you do a YouTube channel. And I told them, I said, you've got to realize, and I had to realize this myself. This is how I know this. The very insecurities that you're afraid to put on blast and to show people, those always end up being the quirks that set you apart. My crooked teeth, 
my Tennessee accent, my weight, all those things started out as huge insecurities for me. And I turned them with the help of God into the very quirks that set me aside on a platform as big as YouTube. We have the cookie cutter influencers out here. They're beautiful. They're awesome. That's why they're followed so much. They're really cool people to look up to. They're really cool people to watch. It's nice to see somebody super aesthetic. But there's so many people in this world who are the exact opposite of that. And I happen to be one of them. I'm not really, really pretty. Like, I'm, like, girlfriend ain't ugly. I mean, I did somehow get a 10. Shane is a 10. <laughs> no, but, but, I mean, I'm not the pretty one, right? I don't, when I walk into the room, end up being the prettiest person in the room. I'm not the, the coolest person in the room. I don't match all the time. I wear stained pajamas around my house. I live in pajamas. I go to the DG in pajamas. Pajamas that could, that look like they might actually be pants, but they're really pajamas. I get on here with my really embarrassing teeth. Like, my teeth are bad. Wait till y'all see the dental video coming at you where you have a direct line, huge photo up in your face of the complete anatomy of my mouth. It's so bad. And I had every reason to talk like this or to do like this or you know never show my teeth but i'm too happy for that like you're gonna see my teeth up and personal and it's gonna be really gross because they are gross and they are ugly but i'm not gonna hide that because it makes somebody else comfortable because if i hide that that means i have to be quiet it means i don't smile on camera it means i don't laugh it means i don't talk to you guys right here front to center like we're on a facetime call and i'm not compromising all of that my relationship with you guys where it feels like the facetime phone call my showing the joy of the lord through the videos that i post through this camera right now i'm not compromising that to make somebody else feel comfortable by not showing my teeth same with my weight if there is one thing about me i'm not going to be the prettiest person in the room. I'm not going to be the skinniest person in the room, the funniest person in the room, the coolest person in the room, but what I am going to be is the most self-aware person in the room. So I've looked at myself. I've done a really big, hard, long look at me and my qualities and my insecurities, and I've become friends with them in a way. And I realized that all of these insecurities, all of these things, they are gears in this machine that God has placed in front of you to get his work done. And there ain't a devil in hell that's gonna stop me from doing that. Mm -mm. You think I'm gonna let a little insecurity stop me? Absolutely not in knowing Jesus name. I really liked what I said in that video call um, that's gonna go on YouTube. It's like a conference call sort of thing. I really liked that. So when I do get the link to that, I'll send it to you guys. But I really, my kids are playing Fortnite. I really wanted to reiterate that to someone right now because I feel like somebody watching me is 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 going through that right now. Actually, Holy Spirit said there was. Holy Spirit does not lie. Somebody's going through that right now. They're afraid to put themselves out there because of their insecurities. They're focusing so heavily on that. And the devil keeps telling you, no, you'll never be accepted. No, you'll never be liked. No, you'll never be understood. Nobody wants to see you. Nobody wants to hear you. The Lord said right now, that is an absolute lie. He said that I didn't call you to be accepted. I called you to be set apart. And the very very things that you are insecure about are the very quirks that you have right now that God is using to set you apart. God didn't give me the gross teeth. I did that to me. But bless Johnny, when God says I will work out all things for the good of those that love him and are called according to their purpose, he means it. So God saw what I did to my teeth and he said, I can use that. God saw what I did to my body, letting it go, gaining weight. And he said, I can use that that's gonna set her apart for a bigger purpose than she even realizes. I feel that so strong right now and I never do this. I rarely have I ever stopped a video in its tracks and talked to somebody like this. But when it's Holy Ghost ordered like this, I will stop dead in my tracks and I will relay the message because somebody out there needs to hear that. That's the whole reason I'm doing this video today. It's the whole reason I'm doing this video today. I want you to see some random 32 year old, a house full of kids. I suck at routine. I try my darndest, but I suck at routine. I'm not a great cleaner. I'm not a great homemaker. I'm not a great anything. I'm not a great YouTuber. Oh my gosh, I can't get uploads out there as fast as I I want to and I feel like my videos could always be better quality and all these things but all that aside I still get on here and it's because of that the very things that I feel like are failures and I feel like I suck at are the very things that make me relatable to a whole group of people out there who are struggling with the same thing and I did not understand when I picked up the camera today why that one comment 
on Instagram made me want to pick up the camera today and it was because of this it was all for this moment the rest of the video is pure entertainment but it was all for this and it stands for everybody it's not for one person out there it stands for everybody so if you do anything today for me friend to friend sit down and look really hard into yourself and identify those big insecurities and those big fears and those things about you you feel like are embarrassing and those things about you that you feel like are unlikable, sit down, identify those, write them out, and realize that those are the very things that God will use to fulfill your purpose. And I'm literally living proof of that. I'm also really, really hungry, and I hope Shane gets here with my salad soon. <laughs> What's up? We're using the microwave as, as a, table. a table. It's not the function it was meant for. But it is still food related, so it counts. Day date. Wait, can you put a sound effect in there? No. <laughs> Too much editing. Okay, so we got gondolier. Yes. When the hair goes up, you know what's about to go down. Right here. I got a salad. No, this is all we got. We have share it. Rest stick. <laughs> we got one I got stick. a salad because gondolier has the best salads. And I got a Breakfast ranch. Bread. And I got a ranch. Did you give me extra ranch? Mm hmm Extra ranch. They lost my order. Yeah. <laughs> While we're eating, I'm going to ask Shane questions because I realized that we've had done Q&As before, but it's been a long time since we've done a mukbang. We've done Q&As before, but we're going to do like a, ooh, that's, look at his spaghetti. We're going to do a mukbang sort of thing. And is that, then, is that how you actually pronounce mukbang, that? Mukbang. 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 Where, like that where does that word come from? I don't know. And then I'm going to ask Shane questions. I don't know what questions yet. They're just going to come off the top of my head. So they put the extra ranch in the top. Yeah, they did. They only gave me one extra ranch. Look at my salad. Well, I'll tell you what. My salad is not that big. Because I've got that. a regular one so that I have fit that. And you can have my other ranch. Wait, can I really? Yes. I don't think I need that in the trench. So. And there's that. I don't need onions. On my salad. I don't eat tomatoes on my salad. Here, give me your tomato and I'll give you my oh, onions. Oh, do. You can put your onions on my salad. Perfect. I don't know why they put peppers in here too. Oh yeah, you can have my peppers. I don't oh, want yeah. peppers. <laughs> <laughs> give me the peppers. Yeah. Grab your onions. Why in the world they put these kind of peppers in there? I have no idea, but. I've got give you like two cucumbers. cucumbers. Wait, I've got, why do you get the big cucumbers? Mm -hmm. Look, mine are for like spa oh, day. Those are Shane's and then mine are like these. And then I got you tomatoes. Got pickles. They're just like unvinegarized pickles. And then I've got lettuce. It does not sound like it's fancy, but it's so good. They're and then good. their ranch. Their they're ranch is bunging. I'm already uh, like in the last, probably what, last five years, I'm just really big on pasta. I love pasta now. You love pasta? Oh, I love it. Ziti, rotini, rigatoni. Rigatoni? I guess that's it. What was I those? I think I only needed two. What was those elbow things that you made? Or not elbow, they were. Elbow? They look like <laughs> bow ties. Are those bow ties? <laughs> okay, first question. It's kind of hard to eat. I wonder if you can just swallow that whole. Hmm? I wonder if you can just swallow less whole. Why? It's hard to eat. Is it hurting your tooth? Mm hmm. I'm sorry, Mama. Um. I don't have enough ranch. Do you really not? <laughs> just a little bit. Like, like, like a third. Just a third. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> Did you just hurry up and secure the rest <laughs> of your <laughs> Let me think of some questions. Let me think of some questions. Some Did you show them people the that kids pizza. Yeah. No. Dang it. That look good. Wait. Hold on. Look at those two pieces. Don't they look good? Imagine that in a full circle. All right. I'm trying to think of some questions that some people who would don't like me would ask, and then some questions that some people who do like me would ask. Turn into a hater for a second. What is on your mind? 
No, 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 not that kind. <laughs> a mean hater, not a opinionated hater. I <laughs> hate that color. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm on a rant. Okay. No, the real haters say. Um, the real haters? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even repeat half the stuff they say. I got more dignity. <laughs> Shane's in the comments all the time. Shane moderates my I'm comments. I'm like the eye of Sauron, I see everything. He moderates my comments and I have to get onto him because he'll see a hate comment and he will roast the heck out of them. <laughs> I will. And I'm like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Talk about dignity. You don't stoop to their level. Listen, I just get kind of defensive. And he don't, he don't forget a face either. <laughs> so, mm -mm. And he don't forget a name. <laughs> I get defensive because you're my whole world. And somebody coming in and dissing you like that. That ain't cool. So I get okay. Let's let's think of some really good questions. <laughs> I've been heavy set. I hate that word. My, my papa, my elderly grandparents used to say heavy set, and it gave me the ick so bad. Just call me fat. Like, oh, please don't say heavy set. I would prefer fat. Okay, but I've been heavy set my entire life. Even when I was 17. I was, I was not like skinny. I think a lot of people think Shane and I got together when I was skinny and he's just stayed with me while I'm fat because he loves me. When he met me, like I was heavy. So I was literally like 270 as a 17 year old, like no joke. And a lot of people had something to say about you dating me. Listen, a lot of them were girls that liked him, and they were like, why are you with her? But Listen, my first ride was a Jeep Cherokee, so I knew how to handle curves. No <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> were you ever embarrassed by it? Hmm. You weren't embarrassed? Mm-mm. You had problems with it? Mm-hmm. Listen, they're going to see a on my beard. <laughs> I'm sorry. This beard catches everything, but this beard does get washed, okay? Mm -hmm. Listen. <laughs> Haters, you don't wash that beard. You don't wash that beard. <laughs> Possibly created to wash his beard. He doesn't wash his beard. <laughs> First and foremost, you were the apple of my eye. Hey, okay, so do you think that guys just really don't like heavy women? Or do you think they're afraid of getting embarrassed because of dating a heavy woman. Do you think that they're wor more so worried about what people would say versus in how they actually feel? I think so. It kind of shows where their priority is. Because their priority in that moment is this is going to affect me. This is going to happen to me. People's going to make fun of me. You know? Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I just I've always kind of had an issue with you know what I'm saying? And that's very interesting because you didn't date heavy girls before me. All of your ex girlfriends were like skinny. I was your first big girl. My last. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me tell you what. When I saw you standing there in Belk in that certain aisle, because we're not going to get into the whole backstory, I'm telling you right then and there, I fell daggone in love with you. You were about one of the most gorgeous girls I had ever seen in my entire life. There was something about them eyes to this day. By the way, I've got mutant eyes. I do have mutant eyes. They, they could be colors. green, blue, and brown, and silver, Shane and all these things. tells me every day what color my eyes are. Mm-hmm, every day. They'll be blue with green on the outside, green but with brown on the inside. let me tell you something. When I saw them eyes, that was it. That was it. I was done for. Flip me over, I'm done. <laughs> Stick a fork in me, I'm done. Do you have, oh, we're gonna get hard questions. Do you have concerns about like my life expectancy? Cause you know, fat people usually die early. No, I don't have concerns. 
I trust. You're not worried I'm going to die? I trust in Jesus. Okay, and but. And I pray for your safety every <laughs> day and every night. And no. I trust in his everlasting. Look at that. Yeah, that looks good, don't it? His everlasting that is, a, is that a family spaghetti or is it a single? This is single. It's ready to mangle. <laughs> Listen, we all have things that we should stop doing. I should stop drinking Dr. Pepper's. Because let's face it, when I get older, that that can give me issues down the line, right? It can give you issues now. That, yeah, but listen, I know that I'm getting older, but let's try to pretend that I'm not. <laughs> but here's my thing is, is like everybody in life has things that technically knocks off a few minutes of your life daily. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is this, is it's like, okay. So like if you were doing something that was super destructive, you know. Something's wrong with those maters. I knew it. I they were not grown on earth. Oh, Mars. <laughs> to Mars those. You don't do anything super destructive. You know what I'm saying? I continue to eat, but it's kind of hard because I got to You eat, eat normal though. Like you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner like everybody I don't else. Meat breakfast, well, lunch. But you know what I mean? Like you eat normal. You're not sitting over here on the couch just like some of the mean haters say and stuff like that and you're just eating all day. You don't do that. Wait, haters say that? Did you moderate those? Like you don't do that. You eat normal, you know? And it's like you've said a thousand times, it's like, it's not by your choice. Obviously, we eat a lot of processed stuff. Like, our family does that, right? We mm -hmm. don't need to do that. Mm -mm. But, I don't eat a lot, and I'm always very mindful of what I eat. So, like, if I get a meal, like, I'll eat a couple of things out of it, and I don't eat anymore, do I? I give it to you or the kids, and I'm just like, I'm not hungry. And that's not me trying to lose weight. That's literally, I... I you eat like a bird sometimes. Yeah, I don't get yeah. hungry. So it's hard for me because, obviously, you have to eat to live. Mm -hmm. So, I have to eat, but, I mean, where does that... As far as being worried about your health and thing, I mean, you're doing everything that your doctor tells you to do. Like, I'm, you know, I'm not worried about your health at all. They're playing in the rain. <laughs> the ducks are playing. <laughs> oh, by the way, I heard uh, Sanji finally crow today. Bull. He's got the sissiest crow on the <laughs> planet. Ours goes. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bless his heart. Nobody talking. <laughs> He'll have you the only other rooster no. to learn. Bless his heart. Did you find me more attractive whenever I lost 100 pounds? Let me tell you what. I have always found you attractive. Always. Something about womanly past 30 Marina that does it for me. So, do you, what's been your favorite era with me? No. Really? No. Out of all of them? Mm hmm. We're in this sweet spot where. We're getting older, but we're still considered young. How do you keep the romance meter on? <clears throat> because you, a lot of people get set in their marriage mm -hmm. and they like forget to like date each other. And I think it's because people think dating each other looks like going out and like going to the movies and stuff. We find that our relationship kind of moves up another level during times that aren't necessarily going on dates and stuff. We were outside. And we were standing over there looking at the sunset. I don't think we were playing around or something. There was just something about it that that moment was just right and I said that somehow you still got me falling in love with you deeper. And we were just outside literally. I think we were like Funny dancing or something in front yeah, we were being silly. of the sunset, being like crazy the other day. You yep. know, I think it's a... Uh, it wasn't a date or nothing. Mm-mm. I think it's just where, first off, we've 
we're, we've become like each other's like best friends. You are my best friend. And then I think there's other things that build it. You know, we went through a period of time where we couldn't afford dates. We didn't get to go on dates. We had to learn That's to a good quickly. Point. We have to have fun at home, and so we made our own our own fun. We would you know cook dinners and eat them together, or watch movies. Or our first apartment smelled like a permanent grease, grease trap. <laughs> Because we didn't know how to cook. We didn't know how to cook. We kept burning stuff. I thought I knew how to cook. <laughs> Sit there and play uh, uh, rock band for hours together. Yeah. You remember that? Mm -hmm. I'd play the guitar and you would either drum or sing. <laughs> We're going to let Shane eat because he's going to end up getting his beard smothered. There's Aren't a smile. Right now? My hair, I put oil in it. This what kind of oil? oil? And it's so soft. What kind of oil? Huh? I don't know, miracles grows. Oh, not miracle grow like the garden stuff. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning. If not, whatever it is, wherever you're at, I love you, but. Jesus. Right. <laughs> that name requires more um, clarity. I'm sorry. Jesus loves you so much more. Jesus loves you so much more. I will see y'all in the next one. With your breadstick. <laughs>